All right, Shalom. Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp. Come on. Before we go any further, we we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible who rule well. Come on. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect to the nation of Israel. Right. You know, the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, me and the brother were able to get up. You know, we're going to do a lesson on what is love according to the Bible. And our first scripture is going to be on Second John 1 and 6. Because you got a lot of these um, people in the churches saying that they love, love the Lord. But we're going to see if that's true according to the Bible. This is the book of Second John chapter 1 verse 6. Mm -hmm. And this is love. Come to the scriptures. Is about to break down what love is. Go ahead. That we walk after his commandments. Kind, that you walk after his commandments. And you notice to walk is an action. So mm -hmm. that would make love an action. So you have to keep his law, statute, and commandments. And that's how you prove Yahweh by Shema Shai that you love him. But Come. we're going to bring the scriptures out. You know, going a little bit deeper, you know. There's the book of Second John, chapter 1, verse 6. And this is love. That we walk after His commandments. Mm -hmm. If I may chime in for a second, bro. Yeah, but uh, uh, the scripture says, "Walk after His commandments." We're talking about the Lord. You have by Shimei was shy, man. Not walk after man's commandments. Okay, we, we're supposed to walk after uh, the Lord's commandments, man. Okay, that's what love truly is. Can I, any more in that one? Yeah. Okay. Finish it out. It's Second John one and six. This is the commandment. That, as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. Kind because the law, statutes, commandments are, of the Bible are not done away with. You know, this is the covenant that, that our forefathers made with the Lord, and ultimately, this is how you show you how by Shema Shai that you love Him if you do what's already that you that He's commanded you to do. You know, right? You get on First John five and three century right there. Yep. This is the the book of First John chapter five verse three. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, five and three. For this is the love of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That for this is the love of the Lord is repeating itself. You know, the Lord is all about repetitiveness. You know, go ahead. Is uh, it reads on um, First John five and three. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep His commandments. Mm, that you keep His commandments. There it is again. The Lord repeated Himself. The law, statute, commandments of the Bible, you know, keeping those to the best of your abilities in these last days and having faith, because faith is a law, that's how you show you how by Shema Shah that you love him. Go ahead. Uh, it reads on, and his commandments are not grievous. Mm hmm. So it shouldn't grieve you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, to not eat pork, to not eat shrimps, crab, lobster. To celebrate your birthday, your mom's birthday, your best friend's birthday, mm -hmm. you know, and to celebrate these false pagan idols such as Chris, um, not idols, false pagan um holidays, you know, pagan holidays such as um Christmas, um, Fourth of July, Fourth of July, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all these. Holidays, pagan holiday you'll celebrate in America, you're not supposed to be celebrating, you know? Right. You got something? Yeah, because the, the scripture says what? <laughs> if you love me, you hate the evil, right? Mm hmm, exactly. And everything America promotes, if you look at the roots of it, it all goes back to wickedness. It all goes back to worshiping a false idol, a false de deity. You get Exodus 26 if you don't have any precepts. Yeah, I'm going to bring this real quick for okay, you. Yeah. There's a Psalms 97 and 10. Mm -hmm. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Con, so you post, um, you can break it down. Yeah, you know, it says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. That ye is talking about you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, because you're the only ones who was given the law. <clears throat> Therefore, you're the only ones that can love the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? It says, Hate the hate evil. Like the brother was going into, man. Um, he had these pagan holidays. Okay, uh, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, your birthday, um, um, Labor Day, 4th of July, your birthday, you name it, man. Okay, all that is, is evil, man. It's wickedness. And the Lord is not dealing with it. Sodomy, okay, man with a man, woman to woman. 
The Lord's not dealing with that, man. And that's just some examples. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it reads on, He preserveth the souls of his saints, and his saints are the Israelites, which you can read in um, Psalms 148, 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? It says, He preserveth the souls, the elect of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked, which is starting off Esau, okay, and two-thirds of our people, man. Okay, but the point of that scripture that I was trying to make was if you love the Lord, you're gonna hate evil. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, because America, all they, the America's laws, you know, they're contrary to the Bible. You know, mm -hmm. they promote that. You know, and the scriptures say that if a man lie with man, you know, that they <laughs> should surely be put to death. That's but right. here, they give them rights. So you loving that proves that you hate Yahweh by Shemuel Mm-hmm. Um, Exodus 26 The scriptures say He that condemneth the just They're both abomination to the Lord Pretty much You know roughly paraphrasing it You know And that's the thing man that, You see the people think love is That, that fuzzy feeling in their, in their heart which is a muscle There's only pups blood everywhere man mm -hmm. You know that little fuzzy feeling They think that's what love is and that's, not, that's not what love truly is man let the heathens think what love is. But the Lord gave us a blueprint, a guideline, going back to Romans 15 and 4, man. All right? So if the Lord said this is what, what love is, then this is what love is, and you stick to it. Mm -hmm. He said 20 and 6. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 6. And showing mercy unto, th unto thousands mm -hmm. of them that love me. Kind of. So the Lord, if you know, if you show the Lord that you love Him, go ahead and finish it off. Yep. This is uh, Exodus twenty and six. Start from top again. Yep. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me mm -hmm. and keep my commandments. Exactly. So if you um <clears throat> keeping the law, statutes, commandments in these final days to the best of your abilities, you know, having faith, you know, mm -hmm. staying away from you know your lust. To the best of your abilities, you know, walking upright in the spirit and power out by Shema Shai, you know, the Lord is gonna have mercy upon you. The Lord's gonna show mercy upon you, you know? And the Lord's mm -hmm. will not is out, you know, we part of the elect will get that ultimate mercy and gets delivered out of his um the destruction that's coming here to America. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, one may say, you know, um, you know, the Lord showed me mercy today. I didn't get a ticket. You haven't truly seen mercy yet, man. Mm -hmm. Mercy has not been established on on, on on the high level of what mercy truly is, man. Mm -hmm. You know, getting off a, a speeding ticket is not is not mercy, man. When someone is about to kill you, all right, chop your leg off, <laughs> all right, or you're in a, 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 a concentration camp and the guillotine is about to come down on your neck, you know... You gonna really see what mercy really is all about, man. If you're part of the elect. Can you other people saying, "Thank God it's Friday." I made, right. I made it to the week. <laughs> Lord have mercy on me. Right. It's crazy, yo. It's nonsense, man. Saint John fourteen fifteen. Come. On. Now these are just basic scriptures, you know, proving that in order to love the Lord, you know, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, you know, in the name. By Shem in the name um, of Yahweh Shai, who mm -hmm. the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you gotta keep the law, statutes, and commandments mm -hmm. to the best of your abilities. You know, Yahweh by Shem Shai knows that we can't keep it here to a T. You know, in this wicked, sinful kingdom. Right. But us trying, the Lord knows your heart, which is your mind, and He knows that you truly are trying to love Him. You know, and that you do love Him. The Lord says, "Way wasn't grievous, His commandments wasn't grievous." Mm -hmm. But what Jake do? Oh, it's gotta have pork, man. When there's other, you know, if you choose to eat meat, there's other um, lawful meats you can eat, man. Mm -hmm. This is uh, St. John 14 and 15. And it's written in red. Mm -hmm. If ye love me, keep my commandments. God, so the Lord, Lord Howie tried to say, if you love him, you're going to keep <clears> the <throat> law, statutes, commandments, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, what are some of those commandments for us to show that we love them? You know, doing the work, you know, doing these epistles, you know, these videos that we post on the YouTube, which won't always be up here, you know. You know, and also going out there in the highways and byways and preaching His Word. That's the way that you show you how by Shema Shai that you truly love them. Mm-hmm. <coughs> you can read that again if you can chime in if you want. 
Yeah, I got a pre sale for you too. Okay. Um, I'm gonna read it again first though. Mm -hmm. This is uh Saint John fourteen and fifteen. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Mm-hmm. And that's straight to the point. Lord said, you know, so I don't know where these Christians get off that you know that the law is done away with. Mm-hmm. Really, they say that because they don't love the Lord. You know, right. they actually hate Yahweh by Shema Shai because the opposite, the opposite of love is hate. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Lord said, "You're either with me or against me." There's no thin area. There's no gray areas when it comes to the Lord. You know, everything's mm -hmm. black and white. Hey, hey, you know, it's like that that guy that came out to the camp uh, this past week, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, these Christians they find an excuse to do their wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. You know. They come up with some scripture that they don't even know to break down to and, and try to use it as an excuse to do their madness, man. That was it. I'm going to bring that priest up for you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, St. John 15 and 9. As the Father have loved me, so have, a lo so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. And what's that love, man? It's these commandments. Okay, because you know, uh, Lord Yahweh Shah, the world he calls Jesus, he abided in, in, in the love of the Father, which was these commandments, and he's asking us to do the same thing continue in the love. Because, mm -hmm. like we read earlier in previous scriptures, okay, love is keeping the commandments. Yeah, I'll read that again, and then um, do the precept St. John 21 and 15. Okay, this is uh, St. John 15 and 9. It reads, it reads, as the Father have loved me, so have I loved you. Mm -hmm. Continue ye in my love. Verse 10, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Mm -hmm. And one of the greatest commandments that Yahweh Shai gave us is to feed the sheep, you know, feed his lambs, you know. Mm -hmm. We're in these last days, so we got to make sure we're, um, you know, edifying, feeding the, the lambs of Yahweh by Shema Shah, which, the, which is the elect, which we're hoping to be. Time. It says, uh, it reads on, St. John 15 and 10, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, mm -hmm. even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in His love. And one of the greatest commandments that the Lord gave us is to go out and teach for all nations, you know? The Great Commission, as the um, Christians has, you know, deemed it, have named mm. it pretty much. You know, the so-called Christians, I should say, because true followers of Yahweh right. Shai are the true Christians, which are right. the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. But, um, get that St. John twenty one fifteen. Do you yeah. have any more than that? That was it on that. Yeah. This is uh, St. John chapter 21, verse 16. Mm -hmm. He saved to him again. Now, um, start up a little bit, and when they have dined, there's verse 14 or 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, St. John 15, it's like 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Peter, it's like to Simon, mm -hmm. Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than thee? Mm -hmm. So the Lord is asking, um, Simon Peter a question, if you, if you love him, you know? Because mm -hmm. ultimately, like I was saying earlier, for I was for saying, it made me lose my train of thought. Um, Yahweh Shema Shai, ultimately, you know, when the when the elect is sealed, Yahweh, the Lord gets His kingdom. You know, that's when the destruction has come. That's when our job as prophets is done, and that's when this kingdom is gonna come to an end, according to Revelation the seventh chapter. You know, right. So when the Lord, we're gonna do the the work of the Lord, and He's gonna come back and get His kingdom, and He's gonna um. Have uh, set set us up, Lord's willing, as joint heirs. You know. Mm -hmm. It reads on. This is um Saint John twenty one and fifteen. Mm -hmm. Where am I? At? Okay. It says. Love is thou. He me. yeah. I read that part again. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Mm -hmm. He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Mm -hmm. He said unto him, feed my lambs. Kind of, so the Lord's talking to his disciples, you know, because uh -huh. that's really who these lessons are for. We can care less about these people in these churches, you know, and all the, you know, these people in the world pretty much. 
this these videos, these epistles that we do is for the elect of the nation of Israel mm -hmm. to show the Lord, so you can better show the Lord that you love Him. You know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it said, feed my sheep. And how do you feed them with this word, you know? That's right. Because this word is likened on to, you know, you know, bread, honey, milk, water. So it's a, it's a, we're cooking up a meal spiritually here and we're feeding you, you know? That's right. You know, with the apostles and elders, you know, their videos be, you know, sometimes two hours long because that was a full course meal right there, mm -hmm. you know? Take a long time to process that thing, to cook it, you know? It reads on verse 16. He said to him again the second time, mm -hmm. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. So the Lord um, is re repeating himself pretty much. You know, if you right. love me, feed my sheep. This is how you know. If you love Yahweh by Shema Shai, if you're feeding his sheep, you know, mm -hmm. throughout all the afflictions, you know, you still got to make sure, no matter how many hours you work at a job, you still got to make sure you're feeding the, the lambs of Yahweh by Shema <coughs> Shai. That's right. Because the Christians say, you know, man should not live off bread alone. Mm -hmm. And on, th 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 this is a, a commandment, you know, going back to Ezekiel 3 and 17, man. You mm -hmm. know, the Lord has made us watchmen, so we got to go out there and, and make it do what it do, man. You know, mm -hmm. like you still, you know, like you was going into to show the Lord that we you know we love Him. Yep. Um, you want verse seventeen? Yeah, just yep. finish, finish that it out. Yeah, verse seventeen. This is the book of uh, Saint John, chapter uh, twenty-one, verse 5, 17 mm -hmm. Yeah, twenty-one, verse seventeen. It says, "He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me?" Peter was grieved because. He said unto him a, the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shad said unto him, Feed my sheep. Exactly. And the Lord speaking to his disciples, his said disciple, and, and that would trickle down to us in these last days. You know, we got to be feeding, Yah feeding the lambs of Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. And that's ultimately how you show them that you love them. <coughs> you know, mm -hmm. We're not going to make it too long. We're going to bring two more scriptures out. We're going to close out. You can get um, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 18. No. And then Sirach 2 and 15. Yeah. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6, verse 18. Mm -hmm. And it reads. And love is the keeping of her laws. Mm -hmm. And giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Con, so, you know, this scripture is talking about wisdom, which we all know wisdom represents Lord Yahweh Shai, you know? So, love is the keeping of the law, statute, commandments of the Bible, you know? And read the rest of it. It reads, verse 19. No, verse 18 again, the bottom. The slacky, 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 yeah, 19. It says, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 18. It says, And giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Mm-hmm, because the law of the Most High is perfect, you know? Yep. When, when Lord's willing, we be the first fruits. When we get into the kingdom, we're gonna, that's why the law, statute, commandments are going to be put into our inward parts because mm -hmm. the wages of sin are death, and we're going to get that new spiritual body. That's right. You know, that's what's going to make us in, make us incorruptible. Yep. You can get Sirach 2 and 15. Yep. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 15. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord will not disobey his word. Now, read that again. This is Sirach 2 and 15. They that fear the Lord mm -hmm. will not disobey his word. Because fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So you're going to get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. And you're going to find out his secrets and his mysteries and his power. And you're not going to want to disobey him. Go ahead. It reads on. And they that love him will keep his ways. Mm -hmm. And you get on um, Sirach 119 and 1. Sirach, yeah. I know mean, I said it was going to be the last one. So we can find out what the Lord's way is. It says Sirach 19? No, Psalms 119. Oh, Psalms 119. If I can Sirach, get, yeah. If I can get it first, I'll read it. Psalms 119 and 1. 
I got it right here. Yep. Psalms 119 and 1 says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. So the Lord's way is his law, you know? Mm -hmm. And the scriptures say, Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Lord, you know? They that disobey the Lord, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, you know? Mm -hmm. And they that love him will keep his commandments. You know, with that, you know, you want to say any closing statements? For going yeah, I mean, that, that, I mean, that's just plain, man. Okay, so uh, for ones who are, uh, are just are new to the faith and um, are just watching this video for the first time, now you know what love is. Love is not that fuzzy feeling, mm -hmm. okay, in and, 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 and your so-called heart, okay, because your heart is just a muscle, okay? Heart comes from the Hebrew word la, which means your mind. Mm -hmm. You think with your, with your heart, which is your mind. You don't think with this. So now that you know what love is, apply it. Mm-hmm. Kind of, it. Yep, it's action word. Yep. Um, before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching us the truth, according to the Bible, who rule well. Kind. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time, Shalom. Shalom.